All right, Val, if I got your question right, I think you want to get rid of the padding here. Is that what it was without the audio on there? It was hard to tell. Um, so let's uh, let's just come in here. We're going to inspect this element. And what we can do is the element itself is right here. So here's our headline element. And here is the H2 tag inside of it and the text inside of that. So obviously this uh, headline element, uh, if you hover over it here, first thing we're going to see is nope let's click on it here okay yeah see there's no padding there's no margin there's no nothing on here anywhere so you can't affect it from the headline let's just take a look at this here nope nothing there so um, where that is coming from is in our column and why is somebody calling me from oregon um so here we are in our call inner and we have 10 pixels here on either side and you can see over here as i hover on it it's going to be green right there on those uh those 10 pixels so um where that could be coming from is let me see here what do i have open uh it could be if you come into your columns here and click on your first column um there may not be any numbers in here and these all may be set to zero but take this and go out like that and bring it back down to zero just to make sure that is not what's causing the uh, 10 pixels there because it certainly could be and then let's go back to the column itself not the inner column but the column you're also going to see here there are 15 pixels of padding on either side of that as well and then if we even get up to the well the row level we don't have to worry about unless you want to go out past the edge over here then you worry about the row. So what I would suggest is you go back into the uh, CFDS group and come in here and uh, so go up to files at the top, click on it, come and find a file called Dan Havy's Code Snippets. And in here is where I show how to take out all the padding for every single element inside of ClickFunnels because what they like to do is put in padding upon padding upon padding. And then even when you get down below 1170, they got a break point there where they actually add more padding back in, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but so here, here it is. Just go grab this code, use it all the time um, in order to get rid of padding. So what we're looking at here is like um, outside column padding, that could be it, or it could be the inside column padding. And again, you're also going to probably have a problem at this breakpoint where you're going to have that too. So grab that code, drop it in. Um, in the event you want it for just a specific element, what you do is you take the CSS ID selector and you replace where it says row here on all these. So let me see on yours. Um, so if we're just affecting this column, the CSS ID selector would be uh, cow right 155, which you would. So you put that cow right 155 right here in front of the cow inner, of course, hashtag in front of it. Always remember to put your hashtag in front of it because that is, even though it's not showing on the screen here, because it's an ID, it needs a hashtag in front of it um, to indicate that is an ID. A period always indicates that it is a is a um, uh, class is what the period indicates. So um, that's it.